I'm Steve Zack. I'm a conservation scientist for the Wildlife Conservation Society. I currently work in the North America program. The tundra of Arctic Alaska is a plain by general description, but anything but. It is there that you see polar bear, we see muskox, we see arctic fox, and in the early parts of the year when the snow is just receding from the landscape, all of a sudden you're in a very lively place because birds are literally coming from every continent, every ocean to breed in the Arctic. So whether it's Antarctica or southern South America or Australian or New Zealand or the Indian Ocean, we have birds that have come from there to breed. We have shorebirds with spectacular displays. We also see waterfowl from everywhere in the world. We have big goose populations, swans, Arctic ducks that many people have never seen. The reason why so many waterfowl, so many shorebirds, so many migratory birds end up there is because it's remote. There's a very short growing season there for the birds to be in, just long enough for them to raise their young. And those very forces of short season and far north mean that there are naturally very few predators there. And in this day and age, climate change is bringing earlier and earlier seasons to the Arctic. The birds are arriving earlier, putting their young out earlier, almost like a day earlier every year on the average. And what we're trying to understand is, are their young coming out at a time when the insects are still peak that they can feed on them? And does that earlier arrival mean that they have to leave other wetlands in the world earlier than they can get enough resources to fuel their migration? Well, one of the changes in the Arctic is shoreline erosion because of climate change. Permafrost is melting, the ice is receding, so one effect is the shorelines are really falling apart in the Arctic. A year ago, we wanted to see if that mattered to the shorebirds that need those shorelines after breeding. So we were in a new position. Also new to the shorelines were polar bear. Polar bear that had been unable to get out onto the sea ice because of the climate change and that put us in harm's way. So we had to evacuate the camp, and so the paradox is that we were trying to understand the effects of climate change. We couldn't do so because of the effects of climate change. And for us in the conservation world, this is a really interesting and new challenge. There's somebody working in the Arctic and seeing real changes here. In many ways, the cat is out of the bag. Climate change is a real and will be a real dominant force. And everybody has a stake in what happens in Arctic Alaska because at some level, their birds are there as well. So I think the Arctic offers a unique possibility to reach across all kinds of peoples because it's their wildlife too, bound by migration for these birds that literally touch every place on the planet.